So now that I've had a few days to kind of mess around with the MP5, um, a lot of people wanted to hear my opinions on it, so I thought I would save that for a video. And I want to go over the MP5 and talk about the weaknesses, its strengths, and if it can hold up against the other SMGs that are very useful in the game right now, such as the MP7 and the PP19. And um, okay, so let's go over it. So the MP5 that I'm using right now is the MP5 that I got from my uh, personal supply drop video. You guys probably saw it. It is a 229. Um, it has around a base damage of a 9400 with my current build. Now, don't forget, guys, you can't really tell what the base damage is of your weapon unless you have like you have the same exact build as somebody else. You know, there's other things that get kind of tied into that, such as your firearms and stuff. But um, I am running my three firecrest, two blind, savage gloves build. As most of you know, I used to run reckless. I'm not running reckless with this this build right now. And I think there are better builds out there for this weapon, and I'm gonna tell you guys why. So the MP5 has a extremely large mag if you're using the extended mag it has uh, 64 bullets which is a bit longer than some of the assault rifles and it, it actually has a really high fire rate um, I think it's got a, f a base fire rate of 800 but with a fire rate mag you can get it up in the thousands and I think mine's about a thousand and twenty thousand and eleven something like that and you don't burn through your clip nearly as fast as you do with the MP7. So in that regard, having to reload less kind of makes Firecrest a little less viable. Um, I personally think that the MP5 would be the best in either an Alpha Bridge build with a PP19 that has hurried on it. That way you get the reload speed, but not only that, you're, you're not giving up um, you know, three of your gear just to do Firecrest. And I, that would also you know, be huge because I think if you crit, I think 50% of the time it ends up um, making your your reload with hurried like 115%, 120%, even faster than three piece firecrest. So hurried can be extremely strong. So if you have a PP19 and you're you know gonna use an alpha bridge build, then definitely make sure you keep hurried on that because that can be extremely strong, especially in PvP. You know when you're critting a lot, when you're you're using pulse, or if you, somebody on your team is running the offensive vault, it'll make it so that your next reload is extremely extremely fast. Um, so obviously somebody like myself that reloads a lot with not many bullets being shot out of the clip um, This would kind of hurt because the reloads would be longer, but then again, maybe that'll help me kind of get out of that uh, the, You know that <clears throat> bad habit because it's not great But the mp5 does decent damage. It doesn't do as much damage as the mp7 or the pp19 pp19 actually being better uh, damage wise than them both but the good thing about the MP5 that I really like is that the stability and the accuracy is absolutely phenomenal. I'm using a forward grip. I think it's a, an angled grip. And I think it gives 37.5% stability and accuracy. And as you can see when I'm shooting this thing, it's staying extremely straight. And, and it's very, very easy to control. Now, for a gun that shoots as fast as this does, for it to be as easy as it is to control makes me think that, you know, a striker's build might be really good with this weapon as well because of how, you know, accurate the hip firing is and everything. And the fact that you're still outputting a lot of damage in, in, a, in a lot of bullets, you know, per minute, I think it might be a pretty viable build. And I want to try it out myself. I personally think that the alpha bridge might even be better so you run like an mp5 and then you run a pp19 so getting that hurried and then maybe like brutal deadly um if you can get fierce on your mp5 would be huge um this mp5 that i'm using i you know i finally got to roll brutal uh so it's brutal deadly determined now determined isn't the best talent to have in the third slot and I'm kind of feeling it a little bit with this build it would be way more helpful to have either competent or fierce um, fierce one of the best in my opinion for this meta because the 229s come with or, or the SMGs or any SMG rather after 1.3 come with crit hit damage now so it makes crit hit chance that much more um, precious and that much more important than it used to be 
Because what used to happen, if you had Fierce on an SMG, it wasn't as good because you were already getting like 24 to 25% crit chance. And then on top of that, 8%, like it was just too much, especially after the cap at 60%. So I think that the MP5 is actually really, really good. It's not that great against NPCs like most of the SMGs. Most of the SMGs just aren't super good against NPCs because in order for them to be extremely useful, you have to be up close. And with the NPCs that are in the division these days, it's definitely not a good idea to face tank. It's not like it was in 1.1 or even 1.2 where you could kind of just face tank damage and be able to output enough where you can like stagger them and just mow them down. So I definitely think like the G36 and those other weapons are better for NPCs, but the MP5 is actually pretty good for PVP. And I noticed a lot of times where we were in gunfights and due to the longer mag, sometimes I would kind of outlast a fight. Now I think the MP7 is still better for PVP because how PvP works these days is the the person who can do the most amount of damage in the shortest amount of time is going to be the person who gets the kill. It's not really about longevity or or how long the gunfight lasts because there's so many med kits, so many ways to heal with triage and all these other things. You know, especially if you're running in groups where where people are getting each other's uh, you know heals off cooldown constantly, and everyone uses first aid. Everyone. So it's more about like the the reason the MP7 is so good is because you can shred somebody in between med kits or in between. Uh, heals because of the extremely high fire rate. I think on my MP7, my fire rate's up near the 1200 and like 30 mark, which is just insane, mind blowing. That's why Firecrest is so good with it because the only downside to the MP7 was its short clip, and the short clip and you know fast fire rate really doesn't matter when you're reloading as fast as as you can with Firecrest. So. That's another thing, I've been looking for an MP7, so maybe we could do an alpha build, maybe we could do like MP7, MP5, or MP7 and PP19. I've been trying to find a good, you know, decent build to run, and I've been trying a lot of other stuff, and I, I think that this build that I'm running here with the MP5 isn't the greatest, and I think people out there will find better builds with the MP5, and I think that's going to be alpha bridge, and even strikers. I think strikers is not that bad. A lot of people are, are kind of... Uh, downplaying strikers a bit saying it's not worth it and i understand why they're saying that and i agree with them it's because the four piece striker is very inconsistent with the way that servers work and how sometimes bullets don't register whether it's on an npc or a player and when those bullets don't register the game considers it as a miss and when it considers it as a miss you notice that your strikers uh stacks deplete faster than you can actually build them up because of you know obviously the this server not keeping up with every individual shot and that was one thing that i noticed with the mp7 the mp7 shot extremely fast so i was like okay well as long as my aim is perfect just for a second i'm going to be able to stack like 25 percent on them and the problem is is that when you're killing an npc or killing a player or something it's kind of hard for you to stop shooting the split second that they die because you got to remember if you're shooting somebody and you shoot like maybe even four or five on a you know a really high fire rate weapon you're not going to have that you know that reaction time to stop exactly when you headshotted them especially with delay and stuff um you end up losing a lot of stacks on your strikers after killing an npc or after killing a player now there's some cool ways that you can actually stack up your damage on NPCs, but right now uh, Strikers is actually bugged. Um, I don't think they fixed it yet, where if you switch weapons it, rest it completely restarts the, um, the stacks. Now this isn't an intended, this is actually a bug that hopefully is going to be fixed soon. So the cool thing about that is that you can stack up your, your uh, you know, say there's like a NPC with a shield or something, you can actually shoot the shield and get your, because um, it considers it a hit, get your stacks all the way up and then switch to your marksman rifle and you have 100% damage on your marksman rifle. You can put down someone pretty fast. So I think that the MP5 is very viable. I think if you have a really good MP5, look at how cool the MP5 looks. I, I can't get over how awesome the ST version is. 
the MP5 ST is basically the uh, the the Ump 45. If you guys have ever seen the UMP from like Modern Warfare 2 or you know uh, Counter Strike or really any other game that has it. So it's just I don't know, man. It's awesome, and it, it, I really think that this weapon would be much better off with strikers than I think the MP7 would just because the handling and the accuracy is so good. But if any of you guys have gotten an MP5 and it has even just brutal or deadly and any decent talents, I would definitely try it out yourself and see how you like it. This one has a little bit lower crit hit damage. I think the crit hit damage on this one is like 43%. I think you can get up near 45 to 47 um, I think 45 might have been the highest that I've seen, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't even know if you, maybe you can get 50%. I don't know, but it definitely like shreds to an extent. Like a lot of people that I talked to were like, oh, it's, you know, it's a pea shooter in PVP. And, and I mean, in most situations I did see it doing a decent amount of damage but it, it's not the mp7 it's not it's not that gun that can just completely shred a person down in half a second it's more consistent damage fast damage but more consistent than the mp7 is just like burst 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 or shotguns right now are super strong i don't know if you guys have seen people using uh um the sasg or the m870 some guy I, he must have had a sick shotgun was one shotting people the other day um which is crazy i don't know what they're gonna do about the about the shotguns there's something's gotta be done i mean i think the shotguns should remain the same but i think maybe like the optimal range needs to get reduced a little bit because i've seen people like sniping with those things that's actually the build i'm gonna try working on today uh later on in the stream is i'm gonna put a predator's mark build together and i'm gonna use a g36 and i'm gonna use a sasg and i want to see how much damage you can really output with the sasg and I i've heard that you can actually stack predator's mark with like one shot from a shotgun because it counts the pellets as bullets so if you're using like shrapnel um which is one of the talents that gives you know, you know you have a percentage of chance to put all of the enemies around the enemy that you made bleed also bleed so i'm gonna try that out and see how it works but uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this video yeah mp5 is pretty solid smg guys definitely something you guys should check out and definitely go for um like i said it's no mp7 but it definitely ranks up there uh of, of the top smgs in the game if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop the video a like, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care, everybody!